Good afternoon, guys. So, check it out. Here's what I'm doing today. I've got it all masked. Everything's ready to go. I'm about to mix the paint. I'm getting ready to, to pull the plug and actually spray this thing with the brown. So everywhere that you see that's masked is going to be where the two-tone goes, including the roof. Okay. Now, for those of you who uh, have done automotive painting before, good on you. Everybody has their own methods, right? Um, for me, I like to spray light coat and then build on that. Uh, my goal with this is three coats. Okay, that's it, three coats. It's a single stage paint, I don't need to clear coat, but I wanna get it, I wanna get it on there thick and I wanna get it on there smooth so that I don't have to touch it again. Come along with me, I'm gonna set this up into a time lapse and show you guys the process. Uh, hopefully you like it, I'll see you soon. done um, I had a little bit of extra paint so I ended up throwing on uh, I would say probably another quarter coat on top of the three coats um, I'm loving it the color came out money some of the body work I wish I would have had a little more time a little more um, ability to get it right um, but I can honestly say I'm proud of what I've done because I'm about the only person that knows where the bodywork is and short of going through and replacing panels and patching, like doing full patches uh, of skins and everything that way, um, the truck's where it's going to be. Now that being said, uh, there are, there is more paint to come because this is just the base coat. <laughs> um, this is actually going to be a two-tone truck. It's going to have a tan two-tone. Um, once I peel the masking off, you'll be able to see where the two-tone is going to get laid. I'm going to wait about a little over 24 hours just to make sure that the masking will go on and hold um, without ruining the paint that I just did. Luckily, if there are issues, I do have extra paint so I can go back through and fix some of the things that are going on. Now, look at this color. I don't know how well it's coming through. It looks like it's uh, a little rough right here. Let's see if we can get it come in a little bit. Look at that shine. Keep in mind, guys, I did all of this with a Harbor Freight gun. A $30 Harbor Freight gun. And look at this. Man, I cannot tell you how proud I am and for those of you on my Instagram you know how long I've been working on this thing uh, at this point and you also know the state that it was in when I first got a hold of it you know if my buddy wants to go back and do more work I have no problem going back and doing more work um, if you are questioning the color it is not black I promise it is a very dark brown. It's called Mahogany Metallic Brown, and I got it from TCP Global, um, and I'm, I'm loving it. I, I love the color. I'm so happy with the choice that I made on this one. Um, sadly, there is one little run that I'm going to have to come back and sand, and it's right there. You can kind of see it in the, in the reflection here. So... That's something I'm going to have to come back. I'll have to hit it with a really high grit, um, maybe an 800 or a 1,000 grit sandpaper, and just try and clean it up a little bit. Um, hey, look at this line right here, guys. Keep in mind, right about here, there was a kink in this hood. 
Got to thank my dad for the work he did on that one because that came out phenomenal. So I'm going to give this about an hour or two to dry. Uh, get beyond, a little bit past tacky so I can come back through and start peeling this masking off. Um, guys, I, I'm, I'm elated. I finally got color on this truck. It is, I've had this thing since December. I've been doing body work on it since December. I finally have color on the truck. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have painted my first truck with an actual spray, like an actual paint gun and industrial style paint. I've done a rattle can job before. Um, I've done quite a few panels with rattle cans. I like this a lot better. This is a lot more fun. It's a lot more challenging, but it's a lot more fun and a lot more rewarding. So for those of you who are looking at getting into this hobby, yes, you can get into it for, I'm not going to say cheap, because my buddy's got about $1,300 into the materials on this paint job. But think about it this way. For about $1,300, $1,200, you can paint a full-size pickup on your own. Just saying. It's worth it, and it's worth the experience, because at the end of the day, this pickup is going to drive around town, and my buddy is going to tell whoever sees it, whoever comes, talks about it, whatever, that I did the work. Again, this is a daily driven truck. This is not one that was that's being painted for show or anything like that. So keep in mind, it's not perfect. I, I would have loved to have had, you know, a couple of months or a couple more months, uh, maybe a few hundred dollars more, so I could get some more, more some more consumables. Um, to finish out the little flush things that didn't get quite right. Um, but man, I'm happy about this thing. Can't wait for the next one. My, my, but my boy keeps telling me I need to paint the Suburban next. I'm thinking blue and blue and charcoal silver. What do you guys think? What color should the Suburban be painted? Um, Keep in mind, it is an overlanding rig, and it is it is an off-road rig, so it will get damaged. <laughs> I'm not trying to do any of the heavy body work like I did with this one. I'll just clean it up right good so that when I spray it, it sprays flat. Man, I'm excited, guys. Thanks for your time. It's going to be a good one. Can't wait to see it in the sunlight. Remember, guys, if you ain't learning, you ain't living. Find a new hobby. Get out in nature, find something to do, and if you can remember, if you've made it this far in the video, please give me a like and subscribe, shoot, shoot a share off to your friends, let them know what I'm doing, because I do this kind of stuff, I like dabbling in a bunch of different automotive worlds, um, I love anything cars, so if you have your own project that you want to share, please share it with me, I, I'd love to see it, love to talk about it, um, other than that, y'all take care, we'll see you in the next one.